here, my name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. My friends, uh, we're gonna talk about performances today. I'm really excited because I literally, literally, literally just pulled this out of the post, as they say in the UK. Uh, I just got it from uh, the mailman. Uh, actually, I got it from the FedEx guy. Um, it might have been a woman, I didn't see who it was. But, nonetheless, this is the important part. This is a 1966 Gibson Trini Lopez with factory installed Bigsby. This one is exceptionally clean. And I wanna show you, so I'm gonna get into this guitar in another video, but it's got this, this really cool little deal on the back of the headstock that says, Chuck Levin's Washington Music Center Rental Sales Repairs. Like, in the 60s, dude, this thing went to, um, uh, you know, Chuck Levin's Music Center. Who the heck is Chuck Levin? I don't know. I haven't named this thing yet, but uh, let me know in the comments below what we should name it. We might have a naming contest. Winner gets the guitar. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Winner gets a profile pack or something. Hey, guys, we're talking about uh, performances, and I wanted to talk about how I build performances and what I do when I, get a, when I make some new profiles and how I sometimes put them in performances. Now, what you were just hearing there was a brand new profile pack that's um, probably maybe out by the time you're watching this. If not, it comes out tomorrow. It comes out April 10th, and it's the 66 AC Top Boost uh, profile pack. But it's not what I wanna talk about today, but I do wanna use these profiles. And what you just heard there was the Edge of Breakup, Edge of Breakup profile, and it sounds like this. technically patent uh, sticker pickups, uh, but it just sounds like the best uh, PAFs you ever heard going through um, uh, a Right on the Edge of Breakup 1966 AC30. So it's the first time we've done a vintage top boost AC30, but enough of that. Let's get right into, I, I, there's so many flavors here and tones sometimes when I open up a profile pack that I'm really just inspired to sort of go, how will I fit these together? So let's jump over to performance mode and let's get right into how I'm gonna create a performance around you know, a new set of profiles or just something that I could use this Sunday. Now, I'm not going anywhere this Sunday. I'm gonna be sitting on my couch. But in case I was, in case I was gonna get up and go play, this is what I would be doing. I'm gonna jump over to performance mode and uh, yep, we're on the Suze's Arshall template. So um, let's see, let me, let me go get a new, here we go, number 10, load. We got a brand new performance. Is there anything in here? Nothing in, well, I just pulled in one, one profile, but we're gonna fix that in a second. So here's how I'm gonna approach building a performance. I want to be able to have four sounds. I wanna be able to utilize morph to give me more and less uh, delay and, um, and uh, uh, reverb and stuff. If you wanna know how to do all those things, you can check out a previous video we did called Kemper 201 Performance Mode. I'm gonna get into some of it here, but in case I skip over anything, what I really wanna talk about in this video is my uh, the approach, what I'm trying to achieve in terms of versatility, but also cohesiveness of sound. You know, I want this to sound like one rig, one, one sort of amp. We have so many options with the Kemper. It would be very easy to go super clean twin, super dirty Marshall, modern Mesa Boogie, and create this palette of sounds that just wouldn't make sense together. And we also have to make it make sense for this guitar. And look, I have no experience with this guitar apart from playing it for three minutes and then the chords you just heard at the top. So this is a brand new guitar to me. Um, and so I'm excited because I don't know what profiles are going to work great with it and what aren't. But I want to work with these 1966 profiles that we just did, these, these uh, AC Top Boost profiles. So I'm going to grab my first profile. And I think my approach here is going to be, I want to go from clean or what I'm going to consider clean because that's going to be my cleanest, that edge of breakup. I want to get into a couple levels of dirt. I want to be able to go kind of my clean sound my overdriven sound, a more distorted sound, a lead sound, and then I wanna get into atmospheric delay type stuff. And I wanna be able to have options on all of those for where to go. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna select that edge of breakup thing here. Um, look, I could go super clean 
if you're a super clean guy, check it out. This is what we got. Um, here's the profile. Here's the 66 AC Top Boost B1. sound beautiful profile um, my gosh this thing sounds r really good you know sometimes patent sticker pickups can be a little on the brighter side Sunny is on the brighter side if you don't know who Sunny is you can check out some of my past videos um, Sunny is another 335 that I have I don't want to get this clean this is really clean look at I dig in It sounds good, it sounds vintagey, but I want a little more juice. I just want a little, so I want to go back to that edge of breakup. So that's going to be where I start. Now from here, I want to go up in, um, in, in dirt, but I want to be careful how I do it. I like that a lot. I really like that. There's enough dirt there. But it's so clean here. I don't have to worry about getting too dirty or anything. That is absolutely, absolutely uh, great sounding. Now, I've done something before the video and I want to show you a really cool trick. This is something I use a lot. I have a couple effects sets that I like to use. And when I mean effects sets, I mean this whole section right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down effects and then I'm going to go to browse mode here. And I'm actually going to be able to browse a couple different effects settings that I have on this Kemper. I'm going to use something called HW Go To. Um, and I just sort of dialed this in. Um, I actually borrowed some of this stuff from the Suze's presets of the uh, Suze's worship template. Um, it's also in the Stooge Arshal pack. We, we've put this out in various forms um, for free before, and now it sounds like this. There's a lot going on here. Let me just break it down real quick. This is a natural reverb. Um, I've got um, you know 36 on the mix. It's fairly long at three seconds. I'm going for something a little more ambient, and um, I'm going to get into this. This is going to be my starting point, and I might make, I, I might bring some of this back when I get a little more dirt. Like I might pull some of the levels back. But um, I have already in here the ability to just morph up. We can see on some of these delays. Look, I'm gonna. Um, where are we at here? Do you get any? Nope, uh, it, it cleared my, no it didn't. It did it clear my morph settings? No, it didn't. Oh, HW, you are getting lost in the Kemper. It did not clear my morph settings. Look, now we're morphing up. So here's the morphed up version. So that's my most wet. Now what I like about this is I don't have to reset all of that. And in fact, what I'm going to do for right now is um, I'm just gonna, I'm actually just going to leave it just like this. Um, that's perfect. So I've got my clean sound. Now I want to go to something a little dirtier, but I want to respect that a lot of times when we say dirtier, we don't just mean dirtier on the amp. We might mean from clean to a little bit of crunch or drive might mean a different voicing, right? It might mean getting a little more mid-range. For me, a pedal that's really perfect for that is the Klon, especially with a brighter sound like this, and we're already on the edge of breakup. So what I, what I made sure to do in this profile pack is what was going on in my head through this whole profile of the 66 process was, okay, how do I make something that's now going to trump what I already am using on Sundays? Now, I've been using an AC30. I recently just dubbed the 1964 AC10 pack as my number one go-to, except here's been the problem. We've been quarantined since 
since that happened. And so I haven't actually had the opportunity to go play with the 1964 pack live, which I would love to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of these profile packs in some future videos and just do some play along videos here at home. But I wanna be able to go from this clean sound to my next level of dirt, but I want it to be just a, I want it to be a little driven, but not dirty, dirty. So I actually included in here a couple profiles um, of a clone. And so, well, a clone, anyway. It's actually an archer pedal. And so I'm just going to scroll through and find those. And they're going to be, oh, where are you? Where are you? Here we go. So many profiles in the camper. Here's my clone one. Here's clone two. I'm going to go to clone two, and I want you to hear that. Here's my number two sound now. And I'm going to come back in here to effects, and I am going to assign my HW go to. Okay, so now I have the same effects on both. Number one. <laughs> same effects and everything, but now with the uh, AC Clon 2. that long trail. So now what we've got here is um, just a really nice progression, I think. Really bright, squeaky clean. And to me, more than being like way more driven, we've darkened it up a little, but really we haven't even darkened it up that much because the settings I remember I had this pedal at um, were not really to cut the treble, but more to add in um, some of that, that clawny mid-range. And so it's adding some girth and some grind and kind of grunt. So it's, it's really not so much dirtier. You can even see on the Kemper. I mean, it's, you know, you can see that there. It's, we're not getting into super dirty levels, but if I lean in on this. <laughs> That is, um, that's that, you know what I mean? That's, that's really great. Now I want to get into a full on driven thing. And I think I'm on purpose gonna, um, yeah, you know what, here, let's, let's try out a couple profiles. Cause I, I, I don't know what, what we should go to next, like off the top of my head. So, um, let's try like a J profile. Cause that'll be like a, a jumper channel on an AC 30 is going to be a little dirtier. It's going to be, you know, a little more. <laughs> Nice and bright and shiny. Do I want it dirtier than that? Maybe. Let's try. Let's try something a little more. Again, these pickups are different than you know um, than other ones. So you, you got to just know your guitar. It really depends. If I'm on a if I'm on a strat, I'm going to be dirtier than this on the profile to make up for it. <laughs> Thank you, ticker symbol P-L-A-W, P-L-A-Y, excuse me. D and B for the win. Uh, six, six, AC top boost, J4. I like you. I like you a lot because I like that we're going to go to you and you're going to be my, my main kind of crunchy thing. And I love profiles. For me, so 
Here's how it approaches performance so far. First of all, let me, let me bring in those effects now. Another thing I could do is just go ahead and lock this. I could do that if I want. Um, and so I probably will do that from here on out. Um, boom, I got my effects there. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this. Now remember, whatever we lock in, in performance mode or browse mode is locked only in those two modes. So if I want all my performances to have a certain something on them, I can always lock performance mode. When I click back to browser mode, it's not gonna be a problem. Not gonna be a problem at all. Let me just save that so I don't lose any progress. Very important to save on the Kemper so you don't lose progress. Okay, boom. Now I like this. I like this setting. Now we're gonna take that same setting and I am going to, no, you know what? I got an idea. We're either gonna go distorted pedal or we're gonna take that same profile and make it just like a, like a boosted version. You know what I mean? We're gonna throw like a tubey screamy thingy on there. Or we have this. We've got this KOT dist. And look, I don't have to set my effects because I've already put them there. I've already locked them. So here is my, uh, my dirtiest kind of profile. <laughs> It could be a little much, but I like it for like a lead thing, you know? I think it's gonna be great, and even when I wanna get super going. sounds like a Sunday morning where I come from. That sounds really good. I dig that. Again, let me save because I don't remember if I did that before. Just save all the time. You just double click the button. It's a quick save. Just save all the time. Now, okay, I've got that set up. Guys, look what I've built now. Hey, John, uh, who's John? HW, we, uh, we call, we got to, we got to, we got to be really clean and we got, it's going to be this beautiful moment, you know, where the singer's going to start. We're doing a ballad or something. I just come up here and I'm like, oh yeah, we're doing a ballad. Okay, we're doing a ballad. <laughs> Anyway, you could get real clean. Here we go. Now I want to push it a little bit. Look, let me just play through. Look, I play dynamically through all this. You could imagine a band with me, okay? But I'll just dynamically play through this, okay? Check this out. I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to make up a song.
some of those need a little leveling out, like the Klon one, because it, the brightness is lower. You know, I'll, I'll just, I could just raise the rig volume a little bit. I won't do that here because you know how to do that. But um, next, I'm going to take, I want to take this. I, I always look for my most expressive profile. And by most expressive, I mean um, my J4 profile here in, in this group. I mean, I could get another profile. In fact, I will do that. I'll get another profile because this one's almost a little bit dirty for what I want to use it for. I want to use it for like um, an ambient thing. So I'm going to come over here and I want to select, I'm going to select my J3 because I just want to clean that up a little bit. I want it a little bit dirty. I don't want it completely clean. I want to be able to dig in and get a little bit, but I really just want to. Now what I'm going to do to get my ambient sound, because number five is going to be my ambient ethereal tone. I mean, this is not rocket science. I'm just going to crank this stuff up. I'm just going to add even more to the pre-delay. I'm just going to add a bunch to the mix, because I want to hear almost equal sound of mix, you know? <laughs> this a little cleaner. That's a little much. I'm going to go down to J2. Okay, now I'm going to up all of these and I'm even going to turn on this extra um, this extra one up here. This extra uh, delay. Because why not? You know what I'm, I'm saying? And I'm also going to like just come in here. Um, no, I didn't mean to copy that. If I'm going to up the feedback, I'm going to up the mixes, I'm, I'm doing this indiscriminately. I'm going to up the reverse mix. I'm going to go to the second one too and I'm going to do that same thing. I just want it to be crazy crazy. I really do. I really, because it's not going to sound crazy crazy once I put it through all the verb. Right? It's just going to be a lot of stuff going on. Where is my, is there a reverse mix here? Here we go. Reverse mix. Some of these the effects are in different orders because there's more parameters on some than others. So there's my reverse mix. Now, before I touch this, okay, this is all good. I like this. I like this big natural hall. I kind of want to darken this more. You hear all that high end? Listen. Dark is your friend if you want to use a lot of reverb and a lot of delay because your guitar can be brighter and it can still come through even when you have all that stuff going on. I do have a high cut here as well, but I want to do that high decay. I want it to get out of my way while the rest of it keeps going. Um, but actually... That's good. Uh, I like a little modulation, ducking. We don't need any of that. Now I'm just going to up the mix. I'm even going to up the time a bit. that high decay down just a little bit more. I really want it to be warm and full on the bottom. And I might even, another algorithm might do that slightly better, but I'm not going to worry about it because for this illustrative purpose, it's good. And, um, I, and I'm on a pretty bright profile here, so um, it just works. <laughs>
some ways this thing feels like an animal, like a like like it's a little wild. Like I it it doesn't do always exactly what I'm asking. But I have this weird like I don't know, it requires a, a bit of a I'm aware that it's here, you know? It's like it's not it's not it's not a stage prop. It's one of the characters in the play. I, it's a weird feeling, but I don't know. Anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed this how I make performances video. Um, uh, I'm, I, I, I think you can figure out how you know to take your own profiles, whether you make them or you buy them from Tone Junkie or Michael Britt or anybody. And you can figure out how to get them sort of to a point that you like. What I try to do is go clean to dirty with an ambient thing at the end. And I like to have my steps of dirty so that I can get these different flavors. Today, those flavors were edge of breakup, kind of a clony thing. I needed to work on the level still a little bit, but I don't feel the need to do that, you know, with everybody kind of in this video. Um, that's just, you know, is it is it the same volume? Do I want it louder when I'm switching to it? Um, some of the distorted profiles were a bit too loud, I felt. But, um, I mean, there's was, it was no problem. You just need to adjust the rig volume a little bit. That's also a global thing you could handle on the inputs. Um, you could adjust your clean and distortion sense. I'll do a video on clean and distortion sense and how to, how to handle your clean and dirty stuff um, in terms of dynamic uh, range there. But I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, I've been HW. Oh my gosh, I gotta go check out this new guitar and I'll do a video on it soon. And um, this new pack's coming out soon. And uh, stay, uh, stay alert. Look out for it. I'll, be, I'll send an email or something. Hey, stay safe. If you get anything out of these videos, like, subscribe. Really helps the YouTube, Facebook algorithm. For a second you thought, am I watching Tone Junkie TV? There was no floral. Don't worry. Don't worry. I've been hiding it from you. It's been right there the whole time. I've been HW. HW.